two-time national champion. He's got the blue hood on over there. He's putting all his paraphernalia down. This is Eddie Golden right in front of the um, experienced those set piece. Everything's going to the horses. Actually, it's Spanish. It's two X's. Dos X's. So based on what you can what were they doing? Playing uh, tic tac toe on the back of his shirt with the two X's? Well, the day is lingering on. It was a great match by Howie Kadish. He showed that he wanted to win. He put tremendous pressure on the other team. I thought Fred Sylvia just let up a little bit with three, force, three unforced errors during the third quarter part of that game, and that counted at the end. I think if he had not missed those three successive shots, I think they would have been into a tiebreak. That's my own opinion. Well, we're going to take a rest right here, and we'll get ready for the second semifinal match. Okay, we're just about to begin the semi-finals of this great, great tournament. It's gone on all day long. It's survival of the fittest. It's absolutely unbelievable. Albert Apuzzi serving first in the front court. There's a backswing contact. Nobody called it, and they lose their serve. I don't know why Eddie Golden didn't call that. He had a backswing contact. Al Torres now serving, the master of the hop serve. That means the ball hits the wall, hits the floor, and goes either way. They lose the serve right away. Paul Lonigan. Lonigan and Torres, national champions. Golden and Albert, national champions. We're seeing a clash of national champions. Very high level of skill by all of them. Lonigan and Torres have blended very well in the past. The only problem is Al Torres being in his late 40s. When you play matches all day long, it takes longer for your muscles to warm up as each match unfolds. He knows, too, that it's a 15-point game, so he's going to be sharp right away. Typically, an old man will just cruise along for four or five minutes in a 21-point game. Here he knows he's got to play very strong. He'll be very ably supported by Paul Lonergan. He knows his business, doesn't miss a shot over there, returns everything. This is going to develop into a terrific game. We've got two power hitters up front. We've got a master retriever in Lonergan, and we have an ace server in Torres. I'm back here and look short. I heard that it didn't hit the line, therefore it had to be good not to. It's one of the things you learn as a referee. If you buy that, I got some swamp oil for you. I thought that was good. No, that was just over the line for the same reason. I mean, get them checked. I mean, you're hearing. <laughs> That's the beauty of being here. You can never be challenged. You say whatever you want. You ever see in the uh, football games on the talk shows, the baseball games, the announcers, they'll make comments about this and about that. There's nobody who can check that stuff out. And then when somebody thinks it through, well, they say, oh, wait a second, that's wrong. He says, all right, so it's wrong. But you got to keep the pattern going. Whoops! My, 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 my. That ball might have hit the line, had a bit of moisture on the ball, and it caused it to skid right out of his reach. The ball didn't look like it was hit that hard. Albert Apuzzi serving. Torres is trying to chop the ball back for some reason. His job is just to get the ball back and not to the server. His job is to sort of float it back toward Eddie Golden. 
it, so the right time for him to call on it and to come in. Two excellent saves. That was great! Excellent saves. The reason there was no screen was the ball was an albert for the tour. If he had a clear view of the ball, had the ball been hit to the line, he probably would have gone screen with the off ball. So he has the referee and the referee is going to call the ball down. Let the ball come into your hand. 